So recall that chiral molecules are optically active and that means they're able to rotate plane polarized light. So for example, let's suppose I take a chiral molecule and I place this chiral molecule into container A and then I shine my plane polarized light onto my container A. Well that means this molecule will rotate the plane polarized light a certain amount of degrees in a certain direction. So let's say this enantiomer rotates it in the clockwise direction. So now let's suppose I take the mirror image of this enantiomer. So I have a second enantiomer and I place this mirror image into container 2. And then I shine that same plane polarized light onto container 2. Now the plane polarized light will be rotated the same amount of degrees but in the opposite direction. So if this rotates it in the clockwise direction, this enantiomer will rotate it in the, clock, in the counterclockwise direction. So what happens if I create a racemic mixture? Now a racemic mixture is a mixture composed of equal amounts of dextrorotatory and levorotatory enantiomers. So recall that dextrorotatory enantiomers rotate plane polarized light a certain amount of degrees clockwise. So this is my dextrorotatory enantiomer and this must be my levorotatory enantiomer which rotates plane polarized light the same amount of degrees but in the counterclockwise direction. So, in container A, I have one type of enantiomer. In container B, I have a second type of enantiomer. And in container C, I create a racemic mixture of 50% of one enantiomer and 50% of the second enantiomer. Recall that dextrorotatory is also represented by a positive sign and levorotatory is also represented by a negative sign. So let's suppose I have my mixture and I shine my plane polarized light onto my racemic mixture. What will happen? Well, it turns out that such a mixture does not rotate plane polarized light. And let's see why that's the case. So when I shine my plane polarized light one of the enantiomers, the positive or dextrorotatory enantiomer, rotates it a certain amount of degrees in the clockwise direction. And then when that rotated light hits my levorotatory enantiomer, this guy undoes this rotation because it rotates it the same amount of degrees but in the counterclockwise direction. So this rate so this ray of light ends up being on the same plane as the original. So there is a net rotation of zero and all racemic mixtures, 50% of one enantiomer and 50% of the second enantiomer, will not rotate plane polarized light.